G'day, you're watching Kath with a K. I'm Kath, and today is day three of making an EP in a week. Uh, I'm going to start with revisiting the bit that I wanted to change of the song I made y yesterday. Well, it wasn't actually yesterday in real time, but the last day I did this. Okay, so currently we have this transition. <laughs> Yeah, so I am going to just delete this um, chorus bit and I'm going to redo it. I've come up with something that I think I like for the chorus. Um, it's just very fast, so I need to actually learn how to fucking play it right. But something like this. try and play that in time. Oh yes, I just realized that I forgot to say all the blinds are down because it's going to be over 30 degrees today and this house does not have any air conditioning. Uh, so <laughs> trying to keep it cool by keeping the blinds down but it also means that the lighting is not going to be great in this particular video. Um, anyway, I've recorded some useful piano and now I want to change the drum beat because um, I'm not very happy with that either. So I've got this. Do that. I've added in a simple bass line into the chorus section as well and uh, it has one repeat of the piano part um, and everything else so I am going to add flute to the second half to make it a little different. I'm going to keep the first half I think exactly how it is. <laughs> I've already done the flute for the very end of the song or the second chorus as well. Uh, and now I'm just gonna listen to the whole thing and see where I feel like I need to add some bits to maintain interest. The only place that I do want to add stuff in is the slow section. So I've added um, some bird sounds back in at the end of it. Um, and I've written a choir part. Uh, currently it's just a synth, but I will record it in a second. So it goes, it's very slow, it goes something like this. finished with the composition of this song um, I'm just gonna export everything that I've changed from last time that I exported um, so then I can finish mixing it in Pro Tools but I will do that on a different day. Today I'm gonna keep working on writing. We are now beginning the Celtic song that I wanted to make. Uh, so I earlier on picked the Neck Reserve uh, field recording from Bruni Island uh, to use in this so I've already imported that and I've picked some instruments that I want to use. So cellos, violins, I don't have any physical versions of those instruments, so they will have to be a synthetic flute part and vocals part. Um, but the vocals are just gonna be open vowels as well. Uh, and then I'm later going to redo them with my actual voice and an actual Celtic flute. Um, I am not very good at playing the Celtic flute because I'm used to, um, this is the instrument I've learned to play and you have keys that fully cover the holes but you have to do that with your fingers on this instrument and um, I have had a bit of trouble doing that especially because the holes are in a different place and you have to really stretch out your fingers to reach them. So I will be not improvising um, or attempting to improvise on this flute. I will also have some basic percussion I'm not sure if I want to have some sort of kick drum from a Logic drum sample or if I want to use this um, cajon that's in front of me, but I'll probably put that in later. 
because uh, I want to get some sort of structure first. So I'll probably do that with um, chords and melodies. At the moment, I'm thinking I'll just have the field recording happening throughout the whole piece. I did also want to make this in a Lydian key um, because I just really like the sound of Lydian. I've started writing basically just whatever came to mind. I came up with this um, bit of a vocal motif first. <laughs> the idea to start with some violins just playing some slow chord changes and then I could put a flute solo over the top of it. Yeah it's sounding a bit less upbeat than maybe what I wanted but I think that uh, with the percussion it'll sound a bit more energetic anyway. Then I've got the violin changing to um, having a bit more of a rhythm instead of just being long chords. And the flute repeats because you've got a lot of nice melody repeats in Celtic music usually um, and usually you don't really have that many harmonies. However I will add harmonies just because I like harmonies. <laughs> So I'm going to write a harmony for this flute part. I think this vocal section could probably be more of a B section. But yeah, I'm going to write some harmonies and um, structure more of the A section. I've come up with a bit of a harmony now that goes a little something like this. I think now I'll do a slower flute part. And maybe the violin could play the melody now, or maybe just, yeah, maybe the violin will play that motif. Then it might sound fake because I don't have a real violin. Or vocals. And then maybe we'll come back to playing the flute harmony, but not the main melody. And then we'll go into a B section. I still obviously need to actually put in the percussion. <laughs> Maybe wearing a dress wasn't the best idea for the day, which I'm going to be probably recording Cajon. <laughs> it's not super comfy. So I've pretty much structured the whole song now. I have um, flute playing long notes here and then the harmony um, to finish off the A section. I've got the vocals singing the main melody. Then it goes into a bit of a B section, um, which kind of quietens out as well. And then we've got a little transition here. And then it goes back to A with just the harmony. And we've got both the melody and the harmony in, and then it finishes up. So this is uh, just under three minutes long, actually. I just recorded some cajon, but this is my first time ever playing cajon and I'm not accustomed to playing percussion, so I will have to um, do some processing on it to make sure it sounds okay. I think it's also just not quite time aligned correctly. I just remembered that I did want to put in some vocals just something completely new towards the end this is definitely not what i thought i was going to come up with i was thinking of something more energetic this is kind of like really calm and peaceful and i guess the point of this exercise is that i can't really redo things a million times and i have to just sort of go with what i've got unless i absolutely hate it Celtic. We're going to make a Celtic 80s pop. No, I'm kidding. I don't, I'm not doing that.
not have to sleep on that one. Um, it's like I like the idea of putting some rain sounds in and this has the word rain in it. So I'm like, oh, rain, that will be good. But I'm not sure if the sound itself is actually good. Putting an arpeggio ada in here. I kind of like that. It'd be um, electro Celtic. <laughs> I feel like it needs to still be in thirds, it sounds too complex. <clears throat> I think I'll decide on that later, but I did realise earlier today that I also need to actually do a little bit of mixing on what I did add to the previous song, uh, because I was going to send it to a singer, which I haven't yet, because I hated the chorus and had to change it first. Uh, so I'm gonna work on that for about an hour now. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing as I did at the end of the last video. So I'm not gonna film it. See you tomorrow. <laughs>